When we're working with highly active ingredients, when we're working with highly active ingredients, does this mean that we always have to work with CIP installations, which are automatically cleaned? Hello, I'm sitting here with Armin Schoerman, Editor-in-Chief of Pharma and Food and Chemie Technik. And what's your view on CIP with highly active ingredients? Well, first, when I came in touch with CIP solutions, um, that was uh, out from liquid uh, processes in the food industry. But uh, I soon learned that um, the pharmaceutical industry uh, can adapt this and uh, can use this also for their uh, needs. And um, I think it's, uh, it's uh, the, the logical solution for uh, the needs. But I also know that it's an expensive solution for um, the cleaning of um, uh, pharmaceutical processes and uh, a lot of companies uh, don't want to spend this uh, amount of money. Yes, you're perfectly right. There's always a price on the ticket and you will always have to look if uh, you have the money to effort a CIP equipment with very high prices but with automatic cleaning, validated cleaning and everything in one step, press the button and then afterwards you come back and, and the machine is cleaned and the manual cleaning on the other hand uh, for com more or less conventional machines and installations where we take into consideration that the interfaces, product coming in, product getting out, they are under control but the process and the process is under control, but the cleaning then is done manually. Both is very widely and very often done, and it doesn't always mean that a CIP installation is the only way to handle highly active ingredients. What role does washing in place uh, play in that? Because um, I think there there is also something in the middle, the, um, the approach to to avoid the the contact from the operator to the product uh, by uh, diluting the active uh, ingredient with a washing in place solution. In washing ag agent, yes, and this, uh, yeah, this is a very often uh, part of the discussion. If if a, a very good mechanical automatically cleaning of the machine for the first rinse and for wetting all the equipment that we don't have dust and we don't have the, 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 the big contamination risk for the operators. But afterwards, we open the machine and we're cleaning uh, parts of the machine in a parts washing machine or manually. This is really something which is considered all over the world. Big players and small players CMOs and originators, they all look into the same and, and they all try to reduce costs and, and also costs of the equipment, that's clear. If money doesn't play any role and you can buy everything because your molecule is so precious, um, is it possible to have a fully automated uh, a cleaning or um, if I think about filters in a in a, uh, a spray dryer, for example, it's it's not possible to to handle this fully automated and to clean this fully automated. Oh yes, metal filters they can be handled and they can be cleaned completely CIP. Uh, so in the process, um, that's why metal filters are uh, uh, produced and why why they are invented it was the origin of the idea. Maybe it, cleaning and CIP especially, this is something that, that, that it is a process and this is something that needs to be considered. It is a process where you have concentrations of agents, where you have temperatures, where you have mechanical forces because of the uh, uh, amount of cleaning water that's acting. And all this together makes the, the cleaning process and when you're cleaning manually, there you have, well, the force of the operator he's mm -hmm. cleaning and, and uh, you don't consider that much the, the very aggressive uh, uh, 
uh, detergents that are used in the CIP process. So CIP in a process in a drying process or so, or in a granulation process, is possible. This is not the, the issue, but it is like the invention of a process for the product. You have to to find out how this automatic cleaning must be done in a CIP machine. And this is also something which needs to be considered. So the main driver for implementing a SIP system is a validated um, cleaning process in the pharmaceutical production. In the um, food industry, we often have standard SIP systems with a standard uh, cleaning uh, product. I can imagine that in pharmaceutical processes, this is a little bit more difficult. What do you say? It is more difficult because active ingredients and especially highly active uh, ingredients in pharmaceutical industries, they have very low permitted uh, residuals um, to, to have a clean machine in the end. And you have to find the process for uh, each um, active ingredient that you're dealing with. You have to find the detergent, you have to find the temperature, you have to find the flow of uh, um, washing medium concentrations and all this together makes the washing and CIP process. And this is the difficulty for, for finding the correct process in the end for cleaning. And this is why manual cleaning or partial automatic cleaning is uh, um, also quite often used. We have seen that working with highly active ingredients and with highly potent uh, medical products, CIP is one of the methods to, uh, to clean um, the residuals away from the machine, but it's not the only way. You can also work with partial CIP and WIP and manual cleaning. All of them is possible. I mean, thank you very much for being here with us. And uh, yeah, um, it was a pleasure having yeah, you here. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, we will meet in the next block. Hope to see you there. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy.